Hi guys, it's uh, Christine. So, um, there's something that I want to address, okay? So, I've been getting comments for a long time, basically, from people who are asking what my age is. Um, and usually it's kind of got a negative tone to it, right? Like, people are asking, oh, why is this baby a, a life coach or trying to be a coach or something like that? So, first of all, let's explain. Let me explain why I personally believe I look so young for my age, okay? So, I'm actually 30 years old, not 13, 30, okay? And uh, one of the reasons why I look so young is um, I take care of myself. That's one of the main reasons. I figured out um, a couple of years back that if I ate less carbohydrates like bread, rice, um, things like that, like uh, anything with like wheat in or something like that, um, that made me much slimmer, it reduced my weight, it made me more healthier, okay? So one of the reasons I look so young is because I figured out what is actually helpful for my body, okay? So I eat healthily for my personal body, like you could eat loads of carbs and not gain a pound or anything like that and remain healthy. Um, but when I eat that kind of stuff, when I eat bread, you know, really dense kind of food, especially when it comes to like rice and things, you know, that kind of stuff, um, it, it affects my body really badly. You know, my nostrils close up, I'm always like sniffing and I get loads of phlegm, it's really disgusting and I just balloon, right? right? It's not healthy for me to to eat carbohydrates, those, those kinds of carbohydrates. So that's one thing, you know, I eat what is good for me, what's good for my body, okay? Another thing is that I exercise regularly. So obviously I preach on my channel quite a lot that you should exercise, you should take care of your body. And I wouldn't be a very good coach if I wasn't also doing the same thing. So I exercise regularly, I eat the right things, that is good for me. Um, and that's a, what I believe to be a contributing factor as to why I look so young. Um, another reason is um, I don't wear makeup that often. Um, I may wear makeup maybe two or three times a month and those are usually at family events or if I'm going out on a date with my wife, um, you know, where I think photos could be taken basically. Um, I don't wear it when I'm at work, I don't wear it when I make videos um, because I th it just messes up my skin, right? And I think makeup does, um, it can mess up a woman's skin. Obviously some women can wear it and it's fine, you know, they don't get anything wrong with their skin. But when I do, my skin gets itchy, um, I get loads of spots, um, I get loads of red patches, um, and I think it could potentially age me if I wore it every single day, so I don't wear makeup. That's another reason. Um, another reason why I look so young, um, I, at least I, th I think this could be a reason, is um, so me and my wife, we are currently going through a fertility journey. We are trying to have a child, trying to start a family. And uh, when I first went to one of my first consultations at the fertility clinic that I'm at, you know, they sort of check you over, check how many eggs you've got, check your hormone levels. And basically, I'm doing really well for a woman that's 30 years old. I've got a really large egg reserve. My hormones are at the perfect point. In fact, they was worried that my hormones would be like too low or too high because I've got so many, so many eggs in my reserve. Um, but I'm actually exactly where I need to be. So I'm extremely healthy, I'm extremely fertile, and I think that's one of the reasons what causes me to look so young. Also, you know, when you see like women going through menopause, they do start to age quite rapidly, or at least that's what it seems like. So the fact that I'm really fertile could be a factor as to why I look so young, okay? So obviously I'm still only 30, that's still relatively young. What qualifies me to be a life coach? What qualifies me to be someone who helps other people get better at dating, relationships, and personal development. So when it comes to dating, um, I used to be a complete loser. I sucked so badly at dating. I could never get the girls that I wanted to be attracted to me back. Um, and basically, I got to a point where I got so frustrated with this that I learned a whole bunch on dating, applied what I thought worked, saw what worked, saw what didn't work, and I felt like I got a good method on how to attract the girls that I liked, okay? Um, I've been, I've been for a relationship on the relationship side. Um, I've been in a relationship for five or six years. Been married for for at least yeah for over one year now. I'm in a very happy marriage. Um, we're very uh, loving and nice to each other. We have a good solid relationship. So that's how I feel I can help people 
with their relationships. Um, I've had occasions with exes, um, so that's why I talk a lot about exes, because I've had that experience. I've had the experience of um, being dumped. I've had the experience of being the dumper. I've had the experience of an ex coming back into the picture or trying to come back into the picture. So that's why I feel I can talk about that kind of stuff. And when it comes to personal development, here I am living my own personal dream. Um, and I try to work on myself and become better every day. So, for example, I'm not really great at making videos um, when it comes to talking in front of a camera. I'm actually a very introverted person. So I've had to, like, fill in my knowledge gaps to become a more extroverted person and to be able to do something like this. Believe it or not, making a video, the videos that I make every day for my channel... Um, are extremely difficult for me, like I'm sweating, I'm nervous, but I do it because it's what is necessary for me to fulfill my dream. So that's what I'm doing, you know, that's how I feel like I can help people. And my main goal really isn't to be the best coach in the world, it isn't to be the best coach on YouTube or anything like that, because there are plenty of other people out there that are brilliant coaches, right, and you don't have to listen to me. If I look really young and it offends you, then go and watch someone else. If you don't like my information, Go and watch someone else. No one is making you watch my videos. You're sitting there watching them, okay? So if you're not happy with me and you don't like the way I say, speak, you don't like the way I look, then go and find another coach who resonates with you, okay? Who you believe in, who you can take on board, right? Um, and whose information you like and prefer, okay? Um, so, yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to say there. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and uh, a thank you as well to those people that have said, why do you look so young? Because that just reaffirms to me that I'm taking care of myself and taking care of my body. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care. Bye.